Hi everyone, it's me Nat and today I have a little surprise for you all. <laughs> so yes, I am sat here with a very different guinea pig. Um, as you all know, I only have one guinea pig, but now I have two. I'd like you all to meet little Truffle. I think that's what I've called her. I'm not sure. I think she suits Truffle, but I don't know. I think... I think Truffle, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so um, yes, this is Little Truffle, I think. Um, if you have any other great name suggestions that it sort of works with minstrel, so uh, like a chocolate or a sweet, then make sure you leave them all below. But this is Little Truffle for now. Um, she's a little teddy bear guinea pig who is about four, probably four or five years old, so she is a more elderly guinea pig. She's got a very long story behind, not very long, but a very complicated story behind her. And um, I did rescue her, not from a rescue centre, but from a for sale site. I'll tell you all about her story in a bit. I'm just going to just quickly mention that I managed to persuade my parents for a guinea pig. So I'm just going to quickly tell you about how I managed to persuade my parents. So they were very adamant about getting another guinea pig, as you all know from previous videos. And I managed to persuade them by simply saying that, because they were telling me again the other day that I could get another hamster if I wanted to do, because I was talking about hamsters. And then I was telling them about how I couldn't again because minstrel was my priority and always will be. And then somehow they managed to come out with the thing saying, okay, you can get another one, but only if it's similar age to her. I mean, what, how long have I been waiting for this? And then all of a sudden they were just like, Yes, okay. No, I was like, are you joking? You don't understand how much I wanted this. So it was so good to hear. And so yes, of course, I went on rescue sites and Facebook pages. And my rescues are pretty empty here, which is surprising. I was looking everywhere. Anything that was suitable, I didn't mind. I wasn't going to go to a pet shop just because... Um, I wanted one that was older and I don't really like getting from pet shops if I'm honest, I'm always for rescuing. Um, so I wanted to get one that was from a rescue so I um, or of a sales site. So I was searching and searching and then I managed to find this little one, didn't I? <laughs> she's a bit shy, this little one. She's not too bad, she's a lot more confident than Minstra actually. I found her on a for sale site by a lady. She actually has two children, but obviously I couldn't take them both, which is really sad that I had to split them up, but um, her children were about two years old and um, they weren't young babies and they did have each other. Obviously if there was just two guinea pigs, I wouldn't have split them up, but there was three of them, so I thought I could take her. It wouldn't be too bad because the babies would still have each other. I still feel quite bad about this but there isn't much I can do and I knew that um, they were both going to be okay if they're with each other and obviously this little one will have a friend, I wasn't getting her to, for her to be alone. So um, <laughs> are you sniffing? So um, I managed to pick her up, she used to be at school so she was a school pet for quite a few years I think. I don't know too much about her background story but I've just been told that she was a school pet um, so she was a class guinea pig which is probably quite daunting for a little thing. Probably why she's a lot more confident than I expected um, and then she went to a lady from the school I think for a few years and then she rehomed them and she had a litter. I don't know how this happened or what's happened but I do know she has had a litter and you can see her little teats as well, they're a lot more obvious than like minstrel so um, she definitely has had a litter, I don't know why, how, when or anything like that but she wasn't my guinea pig and I wasn't to know or obviously I wouldn't have done it myself so that's all in the past um, and then once the lady didn't want her anymore she was passed on to another lady who's only had her for a few months um, yeah, or months, I don't even know if it's been months, I just know she recently got her and um, her and her daughter were allergic so she had to rehome the three of them and I took little Truffle. So she hasn't really had it easy, she's been switching from home to home um, which is really sad because she's absolutely adorable and obviously I want her to have her forever home. She's quite good at being handled actually and she's quite confident which I've already said but 
I was really surprised by this. Like when she first came home, she walked around her cage and then sat in her pile of hay and ate it all like she'd been here a million years, which is really nice to see that she was quite settled straight away. She's a really cute colouring and she is a teddy bear guinea pig. Um, I'll try and move just so you can see her colouring a bit better. Um, as you can see, she's a bit multicoloured, a bit like minstrel, which is really sweet. They're like little tricoloured tri pair, um, so she's really, really cute and um, very loving and very friendly as well. So I will be bonding them, I'll bond them in the bathroom and obviously I'll film it for you all, don't worry. Um, so I will be bonding them, I'm sure they'll take to each other fine. If they don't, I can always take them to a few local rescues that I know that will help bond. And if not, she may not be the match and I may have to um, consider, you know, I don't know yet, but I may have to consider other options obviously, because if they don't bond, it's not fair on either of them to be kept single. I may have to like give her to a little rescue who could find her the perfect little buddy and will find Minstrel the perfect one as we like do a little swap which would be quite cute. Obviously I don't want that to happen because she's really friendly and I actually love her already but um, you know I can't keep two singles that's really not fair so we'll see how it all goes but I'm pretty sure they'll be fine because as I said Minstrel is pretty submissive and not a very dominant pig and she seems quite frightened of her. <laughs> Which isn't the reaction I was expecting, if I'm honest, um, but I'm sure we'll see, and if I've done it by the time I've uploaded this video, I'll insert some clips of it, but I think that'll be a whole separate video, so don't you guys worry. She's currently living in Minstrel's old cage, obviously this is only for a few days, and they def definitely won't both be living in there. They are actually moving outside into a hutch, as this was the compromise I made with my mum when she agreed to getting, letting me get another guinea pig. Guinea pigs can live outdoors and it is fine for them too. Obviously I loved having Minstrel indoors and I'd love to have her indoors as well. But if that means um, I won't be allowed both of them, you know, if I wouldn't be allowed her, I'll definitely move them both outdoors as a compromise. They will be in a hutch, which I may insert clips of, but I doubt I would have I will in time, so probably not, but I might insert clips of us hutch buying as I will be going to get a hutch from Pets at Home for her. It will be a 5 foot by 2 foot at least and that is beyond the minimum. I think the minimum is 4 foot by 2 foot but I'm not too sure, it might be 5 foot by 2 foot. But anyway, they will have a hutch plenty big enough. I know hutches aren't the best but it's all about compromise for me to get things to move forward. I wouldn't have her if I wasn't to compromise. So they will be going into a hutch, but they will be in a shed in a hutch. So once I've sorted out the shed, they'll have the little shed floor to run it around in as well. And obviously Minstrel has her huge run. That will be moved and um, taken outside and they will use that to, to run. Oh, I'm stumbling with my words today. Uh, that will be moved to be pop on the grass for them to both run around on a summer's day. So yes, they will both move outdoors and then they'll have the run for the slower months for them to run around on and that's six foot by four foot so that's nice and big and obviously once I said I've done the shed floor, I'll clear it all up so they can at least run around on the shed floor and I have a six by eight foot I think shed. I also have a bigger one but I think I'm gonna stick to the smaller one for them both. So yes, that's the plan for them too. I am unfortunately going back to school on Thursday, I'm filming this on Tuesday, it will probably be up on Wednesday, so I am going back to school tomorrow whilst you're watching this, which absolutely sucks, um, I'm really sad to be going back to school, but I have had a long time off, so I guess, you know, can't really complain, but um, I am going back to school, which does mean less videos, because now I work Saturday and Sunday, um, that means that I won't be able to just film on the weekends, and um, hopefully I'll be uh, still be able to, but I can't guarantee anything. So hopefully you will still see them quite a bit, but I will definitely probably have to cut down to one video every two weeks if I can manage that. Um, we'll see how we go and we'll see what ever happens, happens I guess. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing Little Truffle. I do definitely recommend if you have a single guinea pig that you do get another one because guinea pigs are social and it's genuinely been very hard for me to keep a single guinea pig and still have a YouTube channel because there have been times where I'm thinking I shouldn't be making YouTube videos with one guinea pig because it's not fair, I don't want people to think it's okay but I'm so glad now that I have two because I can promote what I believe in and I know that my little guinea pig will be so much happier now 
hopefully let's hope she takes to her <laughs> little truffle says goodbye and i will see you all next time bye <laughs>